chambers and his friends all are. They're resting in a small park a few blocks away from the voter drive. Oh, I say, but the vote, hopefully, hopefully that we can change what's going on right now. Chambers says he became homeless a few months ago after his landlord nearly doubled his rent. Despite not having much access to the news, he and his friends are doing their best to keep up with the presidential election. Trump versus Hillary. Well, what, what's lesser of both evils? When it comes to politics closer to home, it's not surprising Chambers has one issue on his mind above all others. I'm just tired of no affordable housing. So that's what I'm going to vote for. Affordable housing. Come election day, Lawrence Chambers plans to take the concerns of the streets with him to the ballot box. I'm Megan Verley, CPR News. The event reaching out to homeless voters is just one part of a larger statewide effort to open up the election process in Colorado and help the process run smoothly. In fact, the state is racking up some national accolades for an election system that's open and secure. The national rankings state tends to be close to the top for election performance and voter participation. You can learn more about how Colorado handles its elections online at cprnews.com. General assignment reporter, Colorado Public Radio's Ben Marcus takes great care with every story he covers. Whether it be a shooting, a wildfire, or some really complex policy that probably has an impact on your life, I gotta turn that thing around and get it right and be fair about it. And so there's a lot of pressure, but I take a lot of pride in being able to do it. Meaningful, thoughtful, in-depth. CPR News. I'm Glenn Gidley, and I'm a supporter of Colorado Public Radio. I became a member because I learned that public radio was dependent upon the public. Very little money comes from federal budgets. The majority of the money comes from us, the listeners. And if we want to continue to have fantastic reporting and great programming, we have to support it financially. And that's what I've done for over 30 years. Make a difference with your gift at CPR.org. 